So, how's my favorite family doing? I've got some new recruits for you all. Give me a moment. Who be this young fellow? Looks like he'd make a fine addition to our crew. on me. It never will. Mind control? <laughs> oh, dear boy, I'm far past that. What do you mean? I'm discovering new things I can do in this place every day. And while I'm much weaker without it attached to me, sometimes I find the beauty and strength in numbers. Because at that point, I can be me. And me! And me. And me. <laughs> Are you telling me that you possessed all these people? Not quite, but you're close. I split my soul into pieces, or what's left of it anyway. And like code, I can duplicate and distribute it. I've chosen to distribute it amongst all these people, the nobodies of society, the nothings of the world. But now we're something bigger. I'm something bigger. And soon, you'll join each and every single one of them. You, you're, you're a monster. <laughs> a monster with motives, my dear boy. Yes. You know, as they say, fool me once, shame on me. But fool me twice, that becomes your problem. <laughs> Bear, buddy. <laughs> calm down, buddy, calm down. We don't want you freezing the place over. Uh, I was just getting the good part. Cover. We have our ulterior motives anyway. Stay back! Stay back, you demon! Us? Oh, please. Wow, is it hot here? It's just a little crowded. Mm. Nah, not crowded enough. <laughs> Though I am starting to run out of people. I'm starting to think there's less nobodies in society than they lead you to believe. Might I make a suggestion? That was my idea first, pal. What are you talking about, lad? It's all of our ideas. Silence! Dreadbear. Yes? What's our idea? I lose track of them quite a lot. We believe you should start thinking outside the box. How so? Don't let the nobodies find you. You find the nobody. After all, you can do anything, right? Just me. Hmm. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. Well, you all rest now. Soon I think something big's coming. He's a real piece of work, isn't he? <laughs> you mean, we're a real piece of work? I have to hide amongst them. If I don't, he'll kill me. I feel I'm some sort of glitch in this system. I'm not sure why, but I must use that sparingly. I'm very lucky. Talk to my board of directors, and 
and they agree I need to get a little more creative. Well, well, look who's back. I'd recognize that face any day of the week. Probably one of the most horrifying abominations Fazbear Entertainment ever conjured up. I hate insects. Mm. Broken shins. And quite the grin. How about we put you on part of size? Welcome back, DJ. We missed you. Self. Don't follow the truck that says free wine. Maybe I should call Bonnie and tell him to come pick me up. Where's my phone? Not that pocket. Not that hole. It appears I didn't bring my phone. Well, that's a shame. You know what? Maybe I'll just sleep on the corner or something. <clears throat> oh, man. It truly is the life. I always wish someone could pat my tired head to sleep. Oh, hey, Mr. Hand. You do some good job, uh, could you, could you, could you just move a little closer to my face? Ah, that's better. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, I knew the spider uprising was about us. Don't hurt me! I, I, I will give you my, 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 my hook! You can have that! That's kinda cool, right? Ah, I know a guy, his name is Pig Patch! You know, we can, we can recreate Charlotte's Web or something like that! This place don't hurt me! Oh. The stupid thing killed over and died! <laughs> stupid thing. What's that sound? Ah! Hey guys, do you like my new costume? Uh, yeah, it's fine, I think. Why is it a bee? Oh, because I love bees. I made it myself, actually. Oh, that's great, how'd you make it? I skinned 455,000 bees alive to make this costume. Ah! Hey, what's wrong, Bonnie? You seem to have something on your mind. Oh, um, maybe it's just me, but... Am I the only one that sees a severe lack of foxy? Oh yeah, that's right, he isn't here. Weird. Chica, it was just a joke. I feel like I'd probably destroy the entire, like, world if I killed that many bees. Anyway, on a typical day, if Foxy's not here, he's probably, like, lying in the middle of the street, dying because he drank too much alcohol and he's passed out and cracked his head on the floor. How about we go find him? I don't want to, like, him to die. Yeah, last time we lost Foxy, he turned into a horrible abomination until he was all of a sudden fixed and then he killed Helpy. Are you suggesting that exact chain of events would happen again if we lost him? Maybe. Come on, Chica. <laughs> Foxy! Foxy! Where are you? Ow. Don't do that. Ow. Don't worry, guys, I have an idea. I'm gonna use my bee wings to get a bee's eye view. I'm gonna fly all the way up. <laughs> Stop my toe! You don't have toes. Yeah, it's a figure of speech! No, it isn't. <laughs> Ugh, this is getting nowhere. I really hope Foxy turns up soon. If not, we're gonna have to go on like some sort of wild goose chase to find him. And I don't really want to have to go through that. We don't find him right now, so limped over. It's gonna be another wacky adventure for the withers. Oh, ah! oh, 
Oh, why the hell did I slip on a wine glass? <gasps> I have an idea! <laughs> Yeah, it tastes like Foxy. Uh, well, okay. At least my figurative toes don't hurt anymore. What's going on? Oh! Sorry? Uh, that's not normal. Huh. Bees flying around your head. Oh, it stung me! Oh, God. Well, now that I have the taste of that alcohol, I can sniff out Foxy's, uh, scent. That doesn't make any sense. Pretending it does. <laughs> this is kind of disgusting. <laughs> what the heck was that that just touched my nose? <laughs> What'd you find, Chica? Oh my god! Foxy? Oh my god! Is that bee venom going to my cranial nerve or is Foxy covered in co Hey! I was gonna say cobweb. Oh. Well, you're right, actually. We should cut him down. Does anyone have like a sharp object? I don't typically carry those on me. Let's see if my bee wings are sharp enough. I'm stuck. Help. Oh god, I'm stuck. Ow. Foxy, give me my bee costume back. I don't think he could even if he wanted to. What the hell happened to him? Maybe he can explain once we get him down. Uh, Chica, do you got any ideas? <sighs> Live on in my dignity. <laughs> Uh, this is hard to watch. Oh, hey, look, a blunt object. Uh, Chica, why don't we just use this to cut a. Uh... I'm, uh, sorry. I'll just for forget that happened. Hey, B costume. It's safe and sound. Thankfully, nothing else important was affected by that. Wow, that was low even for you! Foxy, speak to me, dear boy! Are you okay? Oh, well... That was a night out. Why were you covered in cobweb? <laughs> oh, yeah, that! Why is it covered in slobber? You don't want to know. So, uh, needless to say... The spiders are coming! I knew it from the day I saw him. I saw the man in the corner of the room. I was drinking a glass of champagne as I do, and then I looked on the wall and I saw him. The tiny blurry man, he flipped up the wall, and then at that moment I knew the spiders were coming. What does that have to do with spiders? He was big, scary, and big! Sounds, that sounds more like a worm. I don't know, a worm spider, same thing. He was big, and he, he attacked me. That's why I was in that cobweb. Wait, a spider? Like, a giant spider? Yes! Hmm, let me try and think of a Five Nights at Freddy's character that reminds me of. That sounds pretty on the nose. Wait a second, wasn't that the guy that went missing? Like, wasn't he like, Funtime Chica and El Chip's friend or something? We have never interacted with those two characters, but we know of their existence, apparently. Well, if they, you know, know who Music Man is, and uh, this guy's Music Man, then maybe they know who this guy is and why he attacked Foxy. That's a pretty good point. Oh, well, what are we waiting? For. Let's go! Find them! Hey, uh, you two. Hey? Huh? What's up, El Chip? Oh, hi! Hey, uh, you two. Funtime Chica and El Chip. I don't believe all of us have formally met. Hey, you all are those withers I've heard about. What brings you guys here? Hey, listen, uh, our friend Foxy had a run-in with someone, and we just kind of wanted to know if you guys had any information on it. Uh, sure, I'd be fine to help. Second that. Uh, hey, uh, Foxy, uh, tell the nice lady about what happened to you. Uh, okay, okay, sure. Well, um, so, I was, I was walking around last night, and, and, and I got attacked by this Big guy, this really big guy. Hey, sorry to hear that happened to you, amigo. And this is a thing, right? Right, a tongue on collar, sweats nervously. It was a giant spider. Oh, Beatles me. Uh, could you? Give a little more of an accurate description. Um, he was big. He had six large arms, a uh, big gloves on the end of them, uh, and his face was like, kind of like a, like a. Uh, uh, uh. 
Okay. He had two big rosy cheeks, a big toothy grin, big black beady eyes. They were so scary. Top hat had headphones. You said he had two big black beady eyes? I don't think big and beady are synonymous with each other, but I'm with them. Yes. You don't think he's? I'm afraid so. No bueno, no bueno, no, hay no bueno. This is no bueno, my friends. Why are you going to die? He almost killed me last time I saw him. Who? His name was Music Man. Music Man, eh? Does he have any significance to you? He was our best friend. He was us as the trio. We ran my own place. It was called the Bosch Pizzeria, and we were all a part of it. And then... He revealed his true colors. All of a sudden, he wanted to kill me and her and a couple other friends that came by that day. It was so sad. We had to escape. And then we haven't gone back since. It kind of destroyed the both of our careers, and it was a little... not great. And we're kind of not liking him very much. But the whole reason we got out of that mess was because of this bunny guy kicked him in the jeans and he started crying on the floor. And now, knowing that, he might want revenge. Wait, why is he back all of a sudden? And why is he so big as Foxy's describing? I don't know. He did say he needed flies to eat. Do you think maybe spiders get way bigger than we think they do? I told you all it was the uprising of the spiders! What are we gonna do? Do you think it's gonna come for all of us? More specifically, you two. I have no idea. Oh, God. Yo tengo muy hermanos hermanos in New Mexico. We can flee there. We can all flee there. We can't just abandon the home. What about all the other people that live here? <laughs> come on, guys. You can't be that scary, right? It was like 30, 20 feet tall. Maybe you went to go start a new life in the suburbs of New York. Maybe we'll be fine. Ah! Uh-oh. Sonics! God! Uh, Freddy, my arms aren't that strong! <laughs> Why have all the lights turned out? What's that sound? Why do I hear boss music? It's so nice to see you all again. Down, will ya? Run! Run! Go, go, go! Ah, my god, oh my god, oh my god! Go, go, go! Ah, 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 we should be safe right here. Sorry for leaving you behind. You're quite the pest, aren't you? Oh! You hear that? It's the sweet, sweet sound of your eternal silence! Uh, uh, this. Well, looks like I've got a new victim. Oh, uh, uh, my ears! Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, stop, stop, please, just God. Oh, okay. Okay, I can kill you now. Uh, oh. yeah, the fun's just getting started. <laughs> I believe this is happening. Tell me! I can't really get down over here! But I got a stock for it! I'm in reserve for moving it! Hey! Oh, ow! I still have time to get over. Oh, no. If I go pretty, she can stop this! God. Okay, we all managed to get behind this barricade. Maybe we can dart away and run and run and keep running and never stop running. No, we cannot keep running. We have to stop him. How? He's 20 feet tall. He's a colossal flipping titan. How does something naturally even get that size? Mm. That's the only place. I wonder if there's anyone behind us. If he chooses to look behind you. We all run different directions, okay? <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing. But I dealt with it. There you are. Scour! <laughs> the 
personally tailor this tune to kick your ass. Uh, uh, you see this you spider climbed up the water spout. Out came his prey and the blood all spurred it out. Mm. I need to stand up to my fears. I am Foxy the Pirate Fox, goddammit! I got this damn hulk on my hand! I'll damn tear your heart out! Ah! Beat What do you say to that? Oh, you're good, but not good enough. Huh? Ah! Where do you think you're going? No! No! Ah! Three down, four to go. Devise a plan, devise a plan. It's gotta be a weakness to this thing. Uh, hey, Golden Freddy. Hi, Freddy. So, what's your wacky cool plan to beat this guy? I don't have one. You whack me too loud. Oh, God. No weakness on this guy. I, I can't. I can't really like focus my power on this big of a mass. It's almost impossible. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Chica. Yes, that's bien, Chica. I'm fine, thank you. I don't understand. How did he get like this? Maybe he spent a lot of time at the gym. Does it explain how he's grown in height this tall? I'm gonna have a panic attack. Hey, we have to keep our heads in the game. If we don't, what are next? How did he get this big? There has to be a source! Of course, Chica. But Have you heard about this rumor going around? Of this creature called the Glitch Trap? What about it? Well, they say you can detect its presence from a weird, square-shaped, glitchy glow on something's back or on its eye or something. What are you getting at? Look at the giant speaker on his back. You're kidding me. I'm not. Well, why won't he come out and show himself then? Don't know. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is your local Malhair speaking. Where are my I'm familiar with the form of your new friend. Meet the DJ of the hour. DJ music. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Music man, I know we didn't end on great terms last time we met, but please, I thought we were friends. Yeah, music man, why would you do something like this? Friends? We were never friends. I was always outcasted by the two of you. Never taken seriously. Always they've been afraid of me. Never thought of my feelings. Good shots done more for me than the two of you have ever have. And now... What are you gonna do? Throw us in your cobweb and eat us? Oh, it's too good for you. I'm going to choke you out and watch you die slowly. <laughs> I, knew it. I need something to throw and hold my energy in on that point. And then he'll be neutralized, I think. Something around here that'd be heavy enough. What are you gonna throw? Why are you looking at me like that? Sorry, Freddy, but you'll thank me later. <laughs> this is kind of fun. It won't be for much longer. <laughs> I'm a good projectile. Not sure. Doubt it. If that thing's been mind warped by Glitch Trap as much as anything else we've encountered, probably not. But what we need to do is we need to get it out of here. Now. What do we do with him? I don't know. I haven't quite thought of that part yet. It's just so big. Congratulations! You've won an award for quite possibly the biggest pain in my neck. Oh my god. He's real. Oh, I assure you. I am very real. What do you want? I want what any good psychopath wants. Chaos. William. It can't be. In the flesh. You can't be here. Not now. Not after I let you go. 
shouldn't have listened to that stubborn crocodile. Cause look right where it brought you. Back to me. I feel like I need context. What's going on? Stay out of it! <laughs> oh, so now you're afraid of me! Rich, coming from the tough-minded witted Cassidy. The one I shouldn't have killed. Well, I think you're the one that shouldn't have stayed alive. Get away from me! Who's going to stop me? I will! <laughs> this has to be the biggest practical joke I've ever seen. You, it's little withered Freddy. A hundred of you combined couldn't withstand my power. What do you think you're going to do? Uh, I don't know, but Golden Freddy's my friend, and I protect her uh, no matter what. You're the one that led to my Keeper of Time being taken from me. While that's all behind us, I don't quite appreciate that gesture. Look at him. He's so noble. He's scared out of his mind, but he's still standing up for me. What friend would I be to not help him? I'm not afraid of you, Afton. Not anymore. This just got interesting. Whatever! Die alone or die together! It makes no difference! I owe not a single soul on this damned plane of existence remembers either of your pitiful existences! I'll die! Nifty little skill we learn, isn't it, Mr. Butters? Aha! Eat that rabbit person! Nobody threatens the great nobody, Mr. Butters, and gets away with it! Yeah. Nerd? The fun times you guys saved us! We haven't won quite yet. And down, Glitch Trap! You're outnumbered! Wasn't I outnumbered before? Hundreds, thousands, millions, no matter how many people you get together, you'll fall all the same. Give me back my spider. Well, I think I'm done here. You all made a great mistake today. Instead of your deaths being quick, They'll be slow and painful. Remember my name, Fazbears! Cause you'll never forget it again! <laughs> He's gone. What just happened? The sound of war withered Freddy. Welcome to the Resistance. We'll need as many people as we can get. Huh? Just up ahead. He's been awfully quiet for a while. I don't really blame him. He just lost two people very important to him. And very important to, you know, saving the universe. I know. It's just... I feel like he's leading us on a path to death. Why are you always so superstitious about everything? I don't know. Glitch traps just kind of made me on my toes. I guess that's a fair reason. Old man. Well, well, well. What brings you here? I'm not here to wallow in pity. I'm here to talk chop. What do I do? Henry, you find your own way through discovering your faults. Never come to someone else for your own duties. I know, you've told me that a thousand times. I just want to know. What should I do? How do I stop him? No matter what army I grow, he'll grow an army twice as large. No matter the tricks and traps I pull, he'll pull with a force twice as difficult. I don't know if I can win. I really thought I had him back there. I guess I was wrong. And now I don't know what to do. I've messed up so much. And I know whatever I do, I'll mess up twice as hard. Just tell me what do I need to do? Henry. You are too concerned with what was and what will be. There's a saying. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. 
but a day is a gift. And that's why they call it the present. I have faith in you, boy. I know. Though I do have a suggestion. What is it? Get a little scientific. You're not going to beat him with magic if he was made by man. You're a genius. <laughs> That's what they call me sometimes. Thank you, master. Call me old man consequences, you old coot. You're an older coot! What just happened? I think it's best we don't question it. Ah, come on. Wait. Hey, uh... Old man consequences? Hmm? Oh, you're one of Henry's little friends. You have a peculiar look. Yeah, I've been told that a couple times. Hey, so... Let's say that... You were created from something pure evil, right? Yes. And... That thing believes you'll turn out to be nothing but that. Including yourself. Go on. All I'm trying to say is... Do you think... If your destiny is to be evil... You'll turn out that way? You choose your own destiny. You make your own merits and your own consequences. Your fate is yours and yours alone. Take that to your grave, boy. You'll never find peace without it. Thanks. Now hop to it. The universe isn't gonna save itself. I know. Thank you. <sighs> I ought to get back to 